Hi there, I'm Erin Trenbeth Murray, and I'm the Executive Director of the Robert H. and Catherine B. Garf Foundation, and I'm Vice President for the Success and Education Foundation that was started by the Garf family about 18 years ago. My degrees are in Family Development and Human Studies in 1991, and my master's degree was in Family Ecology from 1994. And then I have a couple of certificates, such as a teaching certificate and leadership certificate also from the University of Utah. Welcome to Exploration Encouraged, the Career and Professional Development Center's alumni video series. Each month, we bring stories and advice from alumni straight to you. Let's hear what today's alumni has to say. I think that the skills that I learned um, from my degrees that I use in my current position really focus around the human element. I need to know how to read people. I need to have uh, a emotional awareness of the room. I use diplomacy. I work very hard to understand the other perspective. It helps me to navigate the negotiation or the compromise or the next steps forward. So I think that having a degree that was based with family relations and human development really helped me stay in tune with the psychology side, the communication side, the basic human driven motivations for people. And that helps me to be more strategic in my work because I can understand um, people in the room better. So my advice to students would be beginning with how to learn to compartmentalize your life. I have a very strong work ethic and I work really hard, but where I have found some success is when I can really compartmentalize between my work time and I'm giving 110% and really ultra focusing in on what needs to happen and not procrastinating and then compartmentalizing so that when I'm out with my friends or I'm skiing with my family, that I'm really in the moment with them. And that's been a life's journey. It hasn't been easy. The temptation to look at emails while you're sitting on the gondola or to quickly shoot off a text when you're on a hike um, or especially taking pictures and then wanting to post on social media, I still get sucked into that. But I find that I'm happier and I'm a lot more productive when I can compartmentalize my time and be in the moment with what I'm doing and who I am with and what the objective is of that time period. So my second piece of advice to students would be to give yourself some grace that this time of life is one of, if not the most, anxiety-ridden and stressful times for some students, for a lot of students. And I think the pressures and demands that were placed on me are not nearly what they are for students of today. And I believe that those heightened pressures and expectations, the constant feed of information, set people up for negativity, for coming down on themselves, not meeting their expectations. And I think it's important that you try to step back, give yourself a little kindness, give yourself a little forgiveness, give yourself a little room for failure. Failure is awesome. You just try to not fail in the same way over and over again, but it's an excellent learning opportunity. But by allowing yourself to make mistakes over and over again um, and allow some flexibility for others in their mistakes, I think you'll be a happier individual during your time as a student. I would say to students who would like to be in executive roles or a CEO role, a very demanding leadership role, first of all, I would highly encourage you to get an advanced degree whether it's an MBA, an MPA, a law degree, whatever floats your boat. But I think there are a lot of advantages besides just having a piece of paper that you're gonna frame and put on the wall. It is about the research. It's about the life experiences. It's about connecting with other individuals with very high um, intellect or passion in a subject area that you love. And it's really a good, humbling experience. 
you realize you don't know it all. And there are other people that actually know a lot. And so it's a tremendous growth opportunity, I believe, when you get an advanced degree and it will position you if you really want to have a C-suite um, executive role or, or CEO role. I would say secondly is to understand that lifestyle. It's not for everyone, for sure. And that's not for good or for bad. I think you need to determine what is important to you in your life and your pace and your cadence and your family. Because being a CEO is incredibly demanding. It is very hard to shut off time, like I spoke of earlier, to be able to compartmentalize your time. It's hard to do that. So you have to become very disciplined that if you put in a 10, 12 hour day, you know, several days in a row, that then when you can carve out a couple of hours um, to go paddle boarding or something with your family, that then you're fully committed to them in that moment in time. But it's not for everybody. And I would just say to recognize that um, when you want to be, the higher you go in a leadership role, definitely the demands are there and there are less thank yous and less pats on the back. So be ready for that as well. The third thing I would say is to be crystal clear on your values. Um, my values, I live and breathe every day. I have them written on the wall. I fail at them regularly, but I try to stay true. The first one is integrity, is that I do what I say I'm going to do. The second one is work ethic, which is to do all that I can and then 10% more. And then the third one is grace which goes back to what I spoke of earlier, to give myself a break and to give other people around me a break, that we're not all gonna be excelling um, perfectly at the same time. So that's what I would say for my advice for students. So my shout out is to Catherine B. Garf, or Kathy Garf, who is the board chair of Ken Garf Enterprises, a proud Ute alum, a community leader, an uh, educator, philanthropist, and just all around amazing woman and dear friend to me. There is a famous saying from Calamity Jane that says, I figure if a girl wants to be a legend, she should go ahead and be one. That is Kathy Garf, and she is a legend in my eyes. Find amazing alumni like the one you heard from today on the University of Utah's networking platform. Connect with an alumni mentor today for resume reviews, career advice, informational interviews, and more.